we are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. Her family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice beautiful day? Today we're making mango habanero wings y'all my way yes and here are our ingredients okay in my bowl i have placed my chicken wings and i have covered them with water and i'm placing a little salt in there to draw out the impurities of our chicken and you know and just cleaning it up and then i'm gonna go to let this soak for 15 to 20 minutes I'm gonna rinse my wings and I'm gonna be right back here I have rinsed off our chicken and now we're seasoning it with seasoned salt garlic powder and black pepper And we're going to mix these around to make sure they are all seasoned well. Now we're covering them and placing them in the fridge. Now we're making our sauce. Here I'm showing you I have purchased some mango nectar. Or you can use mango juice. Habanero sauce. And honey. What I like about this sauce, you can make this sauce your own. If you uh, don't want as much mango juice in there, don't use it. Use like a half of a can. And then your whole... Um, a bottle of habanero sauce and like a half a cup of honey just make this recipe yours if you want yours more sticky use less juice and more honey that's what I say what I like about this sauce it has just a little hit of spiciness to it but you make this recipe yours if you want to grind up some habanero peppers and put them in there and you want them spicy do you okay this is the way i like mine i didn't want it sticky i want it you know just right here i'm getting ready to fry our wings I'm using a basket that goes with my skillet, but if you don't have one, just add them to your skillet carefully. Make sure your oil is hot and have been heating for a little bit, and then add your wings. Just keep checking on them to see if they're to your liking and that all of them is cooking and frying evenly here I'm checking after like eight to ten minutes look at that color the color is golden brown and even though they are golden brown you still got to be careful and not to cook them too fast like i say cook them for like a good 10 to 12 minutes okay our wings are ready and i'm letting them drain a bit now we're placing them into our sauce And now we're plating them up. Y'all, my grandkids love these wings. They were so, so good. Okay, there you have it. I'm going to continue to fry up my wings. And then we're going to be back 
with the final result. Okay, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. This is something I wanted to share with you all that my family really enjoys. As y'all can see, I did chop up a few habanero peppers into my sauce to give it a little more spiciness because like I said, they only had just a slight spiciness to them. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all can get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. Okay, y'all, as always, I'm gonna say, Y'all have a blessed day, and bye-bye for now. Love y'all, stay safe, and be blessed. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit!